What's up dudes and dudes to the air now, my name's Seth and today we're gonna be taking a first look at Fossil Eco, or maybe it's supposed to be Echo, I don't know, but either way, it's a very, very artistically beautiful game, as you can already just see right here, playing it with a controller, because you can play it with a keyboard, but personally, I'd recommend getting this one with uh, just a generic controller, uh, really reminds me of Limbo, but colorful i guess i would say you know uh not to mention flashback which that's a very very old reference not many people will uh, understand but kind of like uh prince of persia and stuff like that so it's more of a platform kind of uh scaling up a mountain type of thing and it's very very cool in the way that it's designed uh also very story driven as well you know it's got a really strong narrative as we continue uh up the mountain which we may not end up getting to explore too much of the story as we continue up um just because we don't want to get too far into it not to mention uh the devs did say to kind of watch out because there uh, can end up being quite a bit of spoilers and that's not really something that we want to kind of spoil with the game or anything like that but it's still really really cool and it's actually got these cool cutscenes very interesting uh the story itself i would say is the original drive to actually get you to progress forward because it's very you know you want to see what happens right like why are we fighting ninjas and <laughs> it's just like what is even happening why is this kid like why are we climbing this mountain? And uh, a little bit of the story does kind of uh, start to unfold our past as we're scaling up this tower. Uh, you'll end up coming to certain uh, fire pits, which we'll probably end up getting to today. And then it kind of takes us into a memory as to uh, slowly going further and further and further back with an explanation as to why we're here not to mention the fact that it ends up uh being a nice excuse to change the environment up and stuff like that the tower itself oddly really reminds me of like brave fencer musashi and kirby games and stuff like that even though the design of the game is very much different uh, another thing too that the devs specifically wanted me to mention which is really really cool is how this game actually uh kind of takes into account speed running with the late game so it kind of adds a little bit of replay value that way it has secret endings um as well as just just that you know like the secret endings alone are kind of enough incentive to kind of go through uh, and experience the game for yourself see this is why this game really reminds me of limbo a little bit of super meat boy thrown in as well but not really that complex although later in the game of course these platforming elements do end up getting very very difficult but you can see right here well maybe you won't be able to see it so much uh but we're actually following the feathers that ended up coming out of our uh character's helmet or headband not a helmet i don't know why but i'm guessing the story is going to play some significance maybe we're purposely trying to bring these feathers up to the top for something maybe it's just for a ceremony as simple as that i don't know but I do like the idea that this game does offer uh, abilities for speed running, which is always really, really cool. Now, as we end up getting to all these ninja characters, which we just got him to waste his friend. <laughs> wow. Um, as we end up getting to those ninja characters, it's kind of very simple, very Metal Gear-ish, where if they're looking in our directions, they'll automatically detect you. And they will open fire, which on most occasions will end up being an instant death but as you saw right there we were able to clutch it out and actually get through it quick enough now here's one of those fire pits that i was talking about maybe we'll go through this next section uh get through the dream section just so i can show you like this puzzle is a little bit more on the uh complicated side while also showing us a much cooler like look at this environment isn't it so cool so we go into this temple area right here and uh, this is where things can get a little bit tricky, but also allow the ability for speed running if we can end up getting to it quick enough. No, we can't. Okay, so you actually can, uh, but yeah, I'm not like really, really good at this game or anything like that. This part I actually find to be one of the most difficult because I always end up dying at that part every single time, man alive. It's just such an overly difficult situation. Maybe there's actually a way to jump down. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'll actually experiment with that right now in two seconds. But if I end up dying like too many times, of course, I'll just start making some cuts uh, so that we can end up getting through it. Okay, no, we can't actually go down like that, but, oh, so close. This part, in all honesty, I would say this, folks. Uh, 
Although it's fun, it's a little bit frustrating. I think that this is, uh, maybe there's a secret button to the controls or something like that, but I do think that this part of the game right here, actually, oh, that's so annoying really steps up the difficulty to a degree that is a bit too quick for my liking. You know, like, I don't like the fact that it just throws uh, the difficulty curve at us, like, so quickly. Now, what we gotta do here, it's not exactly clear on it, it's kinda trying to tell us with the drawings in the background. Hmm. You can actually launch your character up off of that platform, but as you can see, it's overly complicated when it doesn't actually need to be. There, finally. That took me like 50 different tries to actually get to that point. Man alive. It's just those two platforms right there that give me like so much difficulty. Seriously, I really don't understand why they're hitting the player up with such an intense puzzle. I mean, granted, I could probably just be really, really bad and maybe other people would end up being able to do it very, very quickly. Uh, not exactly sure what we're unlocking with this, but as you see, the door kind of closes behind us and says you're done so you don't need to do it anymore that was just a mistake on my part because for some weird reason i didn't jump which i wanted to because i want to jump off that wall to get down here uh, and then as soon as we end up getting through this area uh, i'm pretty sure it ends up just sending us back to kind of the well, the present. Oh, not just yet, because we got to go through here. And now, actually, that's right. This is kind of showing us, uh, like I was saying, it's kind of a reverse narrative where it's showing that we're trying to take this boat, right? And we don't exactly know why yet, but I still really like the cutscenes and just the artistic direction of this game is really, really cool. Um, but you can see here that there's a little bit of uh, odd tension with whatever that spider symbol is. So I guess I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why our kid is so like uh, our character is so dead set on going there. But I do like that. It's kind of a little bit humorous uh, in its presentation and stuff like that. Right. So needless to say, I know that this was a shorter video, but you wouldn't believe how many tries it took me to actually get through that first stupid puzzle, uh, stupid platforming area. I'm sure that it's going to be a lot easier for a lot of other people. But still, there's links in the description for everything. Everybody. Very, very cool game. I would recommend it if you're into these types of games, you're going to get like a whole full experience and uh although we didn't end up getting to experience it that much the fact of the matter is the amount of difficulty that ends up coming with this game is very very cool because you can end up uh they introduce like hiding in darkness um so you can kind of use that as a way to time uh your character's placement with all the ninja characters and stuff like that and just being hunted by ninjas in general is hilarious right so either way thanks for watching everybody if you if you enjoyed the video i would very much appreciate it for you to do in the like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sinor and stay epic.